Hey everyone, this is PX Mr. Collector. Welcome to episode 47. And guess what? It's mail time! Oh my god! You've got mail. You bastard! <laughs> Hey everyone, are you ready? Are you ready? Cause I've got mail. It's the mail. It never fails. It makes me wanna <laughs> wag my tail <laughs> when it comes. I wanna wail. Yeah, I have been out of commission for a while, and packages have been coming in, and it's been great to look at the new stuff. But I have not been able to share it with you, and it's piled up. Yeah, I I am so so excited. So. Let me tell you what, what what's come in. Um, you know, today's episode is going to be just about that. Now, I think I told you a while ago that um, I have been trying to build up on my guy dolls, on my male dolls, whether it is, you know, Integrity Toys, um, Barbie, whether, you know, getting Ken, um, LOL, you, you name it, whoever it is, um, Monster High. Trying to get more of the males and um because they're fewer sometimes they're harder to come by so i have um um been getting some stuff in and some stuff is stuff that i've been catching up on that finally has come in after so many years of me seeing it finally i got it and um and then there's some stuff that just came out on the market and i was excited that i was able to get it that fast so yay so here so let me show you some of the stuff that that's come in Woo. All right, so I have plans on doing a uh, diorama set of um, Barbie's McDonald, and um, I have seen some of the characters come, you know, like the, the, I saw the Ken McDonald's, the Barbie McDonald's, and I saw a couple of different sets of McDonald's, but I thought it was really cool, you know, it comes with the, the, the food and the trays and the counter, some of them had the, 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 the boards. Um, so I'm really, 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 really excited about that. Um, oh, by the way, if you hear this little sound in the background, that's my robot. Yeah, he's actually, he's over there in the corner playing with a toy. Um, I know, right? We'll talk about that some other time. But anyway, um, so I got this guy in today. Yeah, I didn't even know he was around. Yeah, his name is Todd, I guess. And it's a Happy Meal. So here's the Happy Meal box, right? They still make those. And then you see there's a tray with his burger and french fries and a little drink that I like his little hat. He's got it on like I do. <laughs> yeah. So I am stoked about that. And I believe that I saw McDonald's on SciShow. So I'm gonna look that up because if it's his, if it's on um, six scale, That'll be perfect. That'll be so perfect. Gotta happen. Gotta happen. So yay, Todd. Ah. So that was fun. And then I, you know, I um, you know, as far as the the, the Kens go, the rooted hair is a better is a better um, collectible than the plastic hair, the molded hair. Um, where where in sideshow I don't think it matters. Um, I mean for hot toys, right? Um. So this guy, it has been out for a while. This was 2003. And I've never seen it. And all of a sudden I saw, I think it was a Barbie Roots um, 66. And then I saw Ken. So it's um, Route 66 um, University. And at the time that it came out, they, you know, they paid only $4.99. <laughs> but I gotta say, I still got a really good deal for, um, on him, and he came in in really good condition. So here, check him out. You see the price tag right there. 
But yeah. So I like the bag. I like actually like the band. He's got the can band around his, his wrist. And then here, what goes here is actually a laptop. You you can't see it right now. It actually fell. But you know, this is from 2003. So what happens is that that rubber, the rubber band, it becomes dry and it snaps. And that's what happens. But totally, totally cool. I know, right? Yeah. So, and then it talks, you know, a little scenario about what his plans are. And I believe this guy here is into computer graphics. So he is an art major. Yeah, and I'm an artist, so you know I had to get him. Had to get him! So yeah, so there you go. Right, so that's cool. Okay, so sticking with Barbie, I had seen this figure a while back. I didn't get it, and the next thing I know, it was really expensive. I couldn't believe it. And I was like, oh man, I missed that boat big time. And a couple of years passed and also I saw it again and I was like, oh, somebody signed it for a really good price, reasonable price and in mint condition. And sometimes, you know, when the same mint condition is one thing, but you never know until you get it. And I gotta say, the person who wrapped this was the best shipper ever, but this got here like it was out of the factory. And it's Divergent number four. Yeah. Yeah, so like I was saying, you know, when it comes to male figures, for example, you know, Ken, in this situation, the male figures are going to be more expensive than the female figures. So like in this one, um, I forget the, the, the girl's name, the blonde girl, um, you know, she's the, she was the lead and all, and her Barbie is like half the price of his. His is like doubled and sometimes even more expensive. So finally, I got him at a great price. But he is awesome. He is awesome, awesome, awesome. And that's the girl I was talking about. Remember her? Trish, I think was her name. Yeah, so that's fantastic. So here it tells you a little bit about the movie. Um, I believe there were three different movies, right? Um, and um, yeah. Really, really excited. And what I love about it too is that he's in simple black. So he actually looks really good with the Barbie basics, right? Because it's that simplicity that and it's so, so fashionable and cool. And then this one, when you take off his shirt, there are his tattoos. See? And that's pretty cool. Right? All this, all his symbols, right? So yay, yay for that. Good find. And then I have been noticing like on, on eBay on some search um, channels that I've been scoping out. There was, I guess, a line of, you know, there are quite a few lines of Barbie. Because I tell you, I've not, not been, been into Barbie. Um, so I don't know much about the different lines that, come, that, that have come out. And one of them is called Modern Circle. And this is says actually one modern circle. I don't know if they're different numbers or if that's just the name of it. Um, and it's really very little graphics on the front. It just says Ken, art director. So I want to make sure there wasn't a rip off on Barbie and all that. And when I looked in the back, it's definitely Mattel. And it is it talks all about, all about Barbie and and um, how she comes into this play. But this is um, Ken, art director. Once again, art. And there he is. Yeah, so the boxing, the packaging on this is really cool. It's like got a triangle, right? And um, great condition. I was so happy when I received this. So great job to the shipper as well. And in this setting, I believe he is, is an office setting. And there is his um, portfolio with some of his work. And then in the picture here, they show him like with a little case right there. And I don't know if it's a cell phone or what, but I don't see it on the character. So I'll have to scope that out. And I'm not sure that I'm gonna pull him out because he is so such a mint condition. However, I was cracking up with the fact that, you know, I also do hair. And I thought that it was hilarious just that just because he's an art major, an art director, that they had to give him these funky highlights. <laughs> what is that? Look at that, that's horrible. They're like, it's like literally like gold. 
Yeah, <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> so, however, he's an artist. Anything goes, right? So there you go. So that was really cool. So yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to some of the other figures. Now I gotta tell you, once again, I missed the ball on this. So the prices on this and some of the eBay, woo, some of the vendors are crazy. So I got him at a really good price and I'm not sure if it's because of his face scope that he's not as desirable because it's not the best versus the other ones that I saw that are actually cooler. But the fact that he was an art director, I had to get him. I had to get him and I thought the portfolio was really cool. Yeah. So there you go. Now, I um, tell you that one of my Holy Grails in my last um, video was uh, the Barbie Basics. I was able to find the first one, the first male figure. And then um, I was able to find, number, so that was number 15, I was able to find number 16 as well. And I'm so stoked because I gotta tell you, I've been wanting these for a long time, but the prices were ridiculous. And through another private seller, I was able to find them in immaculate condition. Here's number 16. Oh. I hate and I love the basics. I love his tennis his sneakers. Yeah, those are so cool. So this is number 16 from the second collection. And he just basically got a great t-shirt on, jeans, and sneakers. And that's it. Basic. Awesome. So thrilled. So I'm missing one more of the basic line, the African American guy. And I think he's number 18. So I want definitely going to scope him out. Okay, then I saw this thing here, and I was like, ah, oh, I gotta get it. So, you know, I also collect some of the um, Harry Potter figures. And I believe is, oh, is it Asmus that does um, um, Lord of the Rings? I think it's Asmus that's Lord of the Rings, but I don't remember who does Harry Potter. Wow, I had to think about that. But through... This um, other company, I was able to find the Hogwarts Express. And what I really love about this is that it's actually when he's going to the terminal and he has got his, he's going to school, he's got his suitcase, his card, his owl, and his papers, right? And I saw this and I was like, I gotta get him, man. I gotta get him. Check it out. Isn't that the coolest? See how, and I love this, this whole, you know, this whole diorama that they created. The first of all, he's at the station. Then remember they go through the wall and I love how they did that. They going through the wall. And then the owl, you see how he hooks up to that piece there? It also hooks up to his arm. And then you can see it there that they put it in his arm. Yeah, you know, and I don't care, you know, as far as Harry Potter goes, you know, they put the glasses on, the scarf, that our hair like that, and it's Harry Potter, right? So, yeah, awesome. So, so thrilled when I got this. Yeah, good one. All right, so that's exciting. Oh, and then the Bratz. The brass have come back and they are now celebrating 20 years. 20 years. Now that is crazy. That is crazy. So I have another one of this guy, but for the anniversary, he looks very different. It looks really, really different. So this is Cameron, the 20 year anniversary. Oh, I know, right? He reminds me a little bit of the Thunderbirds, you know, because they got that big head and Kind of that cartoon chisel look. See, so it comes with a little poster, a second outfit, cool belt. All right, what is this little thing in here? Oh, he's got his shoes. Oh, he's got a, a, a you know satchel or a little side bag right there. Sweet. So yeah, so Cameron, awesome. Yeah, I got a couple of the girls too from the 20 year anniversary, but I thought that I had to get him for sure. Then another one that I got um, is, you know, I forgot about this guy, talking about Barbie. So I got the Barbie fashion model collection with Silk, silk Stone, and it's the Taylor Tuxedo Genuine Silk Stone Body 
gold label collection of Ken. And there he is. Right, so. It comes with a little, a little ribbon. Let's open that up. Oh, 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 look at him. Oh, let me see. I can pull this out. There we go. Look at him. Okay, so you see that spot on his forehead? So when I got this, I was like, oh, I got him at a good price, you know, because he's a mint condition. Got him at a great price. And I was like, oh, he, he was damaged, right? So I went on YouTube and believe it or not, somebody else wasn't doing any unboxing of him. And one of the things that they pointed out that they thought it was really cool that they added the mold to his head. And I thought, oh, okay, so he's cool. So yay, yay, yay. I know. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So I am ecstatic about adding this to my collection. Yeah, he is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yay. Yeah. I know for sure that he's going to be, I mean, I'm doing a video on um, Top 10 Ken. I'm pretty sure he's going to be up there. I haven't done the analyzing yet, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be up there for sure. What number is he going to be? <laughs> All right. So I think that we finally got to the last one. What? Yeah. Integrity Toys. Oh, oh, oh. I know you know it. Until you say Integrity Toys, it's like, wow. Yeah, wow. So speaking of which, let's, let's talk about this one second. I so looked out. So first of all, I, you know, they said, they, you know, there was another um, um, video talking about the next announcing, like, uh, uh, a doll. Right, and what's happening is that because they have limited supply on uh, supplies, there's a small amount of quantity and a lot of members. So they do it whether it's you know like through a lottery, they like there are a couple of different ways that they do it, and um, it's a you know how lucky are you? I don't know. So there's been a couple of times that I lost out, and I was like, wow, that really that sucks because I'm a member, right? So. The, so they come out with this new new doll that came out and smoking like really different, very fan, you know fantasy like and great colors and striking and so I got the lottery, yay! And when you get the lottery too, is that's a really good price because once it goes to the secondary market, forget it, crazy, crazy. So with that, I was I got her. Next thing I know, I get another message saying that they are finally going to come out with the first doll for the members. Because when you get your member, the membership, I think you are um, guaranteed four to five dollars because they're hard to come by, right? But as a member, you get it's a guarantee you're going to get one of those, one, um, you know, one of the set versus you know, and that's all you can get it's one for each membership. So with the five dollars, I think they come out, so you get five dollars for your membership, which is a freaking amazing. And at a really good price, right? So the doll came up. And, and my thing was, I, you know, I'm not into every single doll. That's just so I'm very specific about it. So when there is something that is like, that's the only option, it may not be for you. So lucky me, smoking, smoking. Really, really cool design on, on, um, um, on this figure. And I am stoked that it was easy and very reasonable. Yay, 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 great price, great price, awesome. So I know, right? So with it, that, I have been building more on the male of characters. And when I got this, I was a little thrown off because I don't know, you know, so they have with the Integrity Toys, they have different lines and, you know, whether it's New Face, New Fantasy, um, Parker Pose, Paul Posey, um, they have um, Legendary, they have East on um, 59th Street. They have like different ones. Um, so this one, Legendary, I've never seen, but when it came, it's a beautiful box. I mean, look at that. 
De Miami, look at that quality. That is amazing. That beautiful purple metallic. I mean, the, I mean, the artwork. I mean, wow. Wow, 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 right? However, most all the times that I've gotten the male figures, they always come in a solid box, whether it's white or mostly black. Really simple, embossed with the, with the line, and that's it. Love it. So when this one came in, it's really feminine. And I was like, oh, did I get the wrong thing? I wasn't sure. But when I opened it, it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. So I guess that because this is a legendary line, whether it's a male or a female that goes in it, this is the packaging for that line. And here he is. Wow. I know. I know. And I forget his name. He's got, got like an odd name. I'll, 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 I'll put him up so you can see it. But yeah, I am so, so stoked about this. He comes with a bubble um, trench coat. He comes with a really cool, it's like Louis Vuitton um, luggage, like a, a suitcase with wheels. <sighs> this guy is fantastic. So I'm so glad that I was able to get him for my collection. And with that said, my friends, that's all I got today. What? Yeah, you know, I got some some hot toys that I actually just unboxed, but I'm going to do those in my next video. Um, I got some other stuff that I want to show you. Um, but for today, I just wanted to show you the new male figures that I got. And I am so, so, so happy. Happy. So keep collecting. Take care of yourselves. Okay, don't forget. Subscribe. 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 <laughs> All right, give me a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you later. Take care.